Uh, India's position has surprised some in the West, but I don't think it should have done. Uh, India has a, um, a, a deeper relationship with the West, given they share common aims in balancing China and Asia. But it's always had a very uh, deep relationship with Russia. And so there are lots of analysts who said you shouldn't expect India to support the West. Um, the question for India now is, is it really in its interest to keep up this deep relationship with Russia, given how isolated Russia is within the international community? But is it possible for India to extricate itself from that relationship? Is it possible? Is it uh, sensible in the context of India's own national interests? Uh, and will it happen? I mean, it's, it, even if they do decide to make a, an about turn, extrication will probably be a long-term event, isn't it? India's caught in a trap, which is uh, it's most worried about China. At any moment, China could create trouble for it on its borders. And in order to balance China, it needs Russian weapons. So uh, over time, it's going to be able to reduce its dependence on Russian weapons, but not always the, the most high-tech weapons it needs potentially to, uh, if it were to get into a conflict with China. So I think in, in the medium term, India probably recognizes that if Russia is to be a pariah state, then having close ties with it is not going to be in India's interest, but it still needs those weapon systems. Okay, you're talking about the, the, the military calculus uh, in terms of India's position with respect to China and Russia. What about the diplomatic calculus? I mean, does India see it in its long-term political and diplomatic global interests to uh, side completely with Washington and alienate China? India is in two minds on this. It's moved to become more close to the United States and Europe has been a genuine one. It's very worried about China. And so they spent a lot of time courting Washington and the major European countries. On the other hand, India shares more of a worldview with Russia than many people might like to admit. Russia talks about welcoming a new world of multipolarity, meaning one in which the US is no longer top dog. And actually, that's, that's OK with India. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi also thinks that kind of world will be possible. So I think what we're likely to see is India continuing to deepen its relationship with the West and edging ever so quietly away from Russia uh, while trying to keep hold of those all-important weapons systems.